Hello people, it's Cole. Today we'll be flipping through the FAO Schwartz catalog. This catalog is from 1995. It has some wonderful mid-90s classic items. We have Polly Pocket in there. There's Pocahontas, there's uh, Sky Dancers, Barbie, Playmobil, all of the things you would hope to see in a fine toy catalog like this. I'm here for you every week with a vintage magazine flip through. So stay right here with me and let's get started. Okay, so on the cover, it's a wild one. It's a jungle out there. We have jungle animal plushies and some plants and um, there's seems to be some sort of tie-in with the American Museum of Natural History, F.A.O. Schwartz. There's a little icon down here for that. It's a very beautiful cover, a deep, deep jungly color scheme. It's not like as primary colored as you might normally see like on a toy catalog, you know? I'm curious if this is sort of like, there probably was kind of like a jungle trend going on. The Lion King came out in 1994. This is 1995. We got a lion right in the front here. So it could be related to that as just like thematically in culture at the time. We have two cute giraffes. There's a like a Siberian tiger, is that what they're called? Like a white tiger, a chimp, a gorilla, a cheetah or a leopard, and a lion. Oh, and a rhinoceros. Very lovely. All right, let's get started. Oh, and here's the whole crew right there. <laughs> oh, and a dinosaur head as well. That's not plush, though. That one's like a little statue. What is that thing? Oh, it's a bank. It's like a piggy bank. So we're even tying in like a little bit of like a Jurassic Park thing, maybe. Lots of, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of wild, <laughs> wildlife interest at this time, I think. It looks like all of the animals are paired with like a like a baby like a baby version we're going wild with our with our big cats and our little baby cats so cute oh look at this this was not on the cover lioness and cub and more of the same more wild stuff from the american museum of natural history this is uh art like art kits which is great that you know, that all-in-one big art kit that, like, everybody wanted to get for Christmas or or for whatever special occasion. So we have, uh, there's, like, a water, this one's shaped like a Tyrannosaurus Rex in pink and gold. There's a watercolor kit. There's, like, crayons and markers. There's another one over here with colored pencils and markers. Or maybe it's just all, like, a big fleet of colored pencils, actually. Um... And another one down here, which is like a trifold format that has paper in it too. And there's stamps, you can see. All different uh, wild animal head stamps. Very bright neon uh, screen print style art for all of this, uh, this little collaboration here. It's great. On this side, puppy love. Plush puppies. Big, huge. That's a, that's a big ass puppy. That's a dog, in fact. And uh, this little Dennis the Menace looking kid enjoying the puppy love. Oh my. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> wow. Patrick the Muff. Believe us, on wintry cold days, these warm and fuzzy friends may very well become your best friends. There's a muff. You could, like a muff you stick your hands in like Samantha Parkington would use um, on a strap that's a dog's body. And there's also these dog earmuffs are wild. Two dog heads. <laughs> I guess Patrick is like a FAO Schwartz specific character, which is a dog, like a golden retriever type dog, I think. It does say FAO exclusive right here. There's slippers. There's another piggy bank. There is another art kit. A lot of recurrent themes already. Jesus, another art kit. We're really getting creative, girls, aren't we? Look at this. That is a mega big art kit. It uh, looks like it has like a leather straps or like handles, and it's a wooden case. Beautiful, beautiful fleet of wood of wooden, like natural wood color pencils. 
There's, I think these would be watercolors probably. There's chalk pastels. There's all, all different types of markers, pencils, erasers. That is a handsome kit. How much is that? Super Deluxe Art Studio, $95. That's not the worst price for something so extensive. More stamps, bird themed stamps. We're being so creative. Architectural blocks, like plain, simple wooden blocks that are in all different kind of architectural shapes. I would have really liked something like this as a kid. I at one time thought I might be an architect. And here I am <laughs> making these videos instead. Oh my god. Mancala. Okay, so for <laughs> DJ and I exchange gifts for Easter. We do Easter baskets, actually. And uh, in my Easter basket this year was Mancala. He knew that I played Mancala uh, as a kid. This was like a very big thing in our family for years. Uh, and here it is. Ours, the board that he got me like folds in half, but the one I had as a kid looks like this with these multicolored glass stones. Very wonderful, very fun game. It's simple, very but very fun and very texturally lovely. Touching those stones, the wood board, the sounds of the clinking little stones, and it's a it's a it's simple fun <laughs> for the whole family. More oversized stuffed animals. A stuffed dog. Bernie St. Bernard, like Beethoven. A whole Curious George fleet of stuff with another freaking art kit. I can't believe this. I mean, I guess if they're already producing these markers and stuff, and by the way, do you, did you ever get an art kit like this? Because I definitely did, and I remember this style of marker with these round, kind of grooved caps. Um, if you're already producing these art supplies, it does make sense to sort of just cross-brand and just do them in all different kinds of styles, basically, different packaging, selling the same product in all different ways to appeal to different audiences. Pretty smart if you're already going out of your way to make, uh, you know, markers and things. Dolls. The dolls. Porcelain dolls, in fact. So, let's see. We have uh, three dolls that are not, like, referencing any kind of specific story or character or anything. They're just porcelain dolls. Delicate and demure, our handcrafted lasses are prized for their classic beauty and craftsmanship. So, Linda, Julie, and Cindy are here <laughs> to impress. Do check out that painted topiary background. That's quite fun. There's a silver-plated tea set. It's mini. You can tell by the scale of these Oreo cookies. Some very fun wooden animal chairs that are, like, isn't that so great? I love that. Really cute. Giraffe, seahorse, snakes, like intertwined snakes, and uh, alligator. Bears in boxes. It's like a creepy sarcophagus <laughs> with your bear. With a bear painted on the front of it. That's very, <laughs> yes, very King Tut. Ah, Sky Dancers. Okay, I mentioned Sky Dancers. Top value, Sky Dancer, the first flying doll. Just pull her magic string and watch her fly skyward. Then she opens her wings as she gracefully spins back down. Very nice to see this. I probably have never really seen one of these like super up close before. Um, you know, this is a nice large image. We get to see this beautiful stand that it comes in that has like this spinning mechanism in it. It's a pink, like fluffy clouds and a crescent moon. It's in like a pearly light pink color with a face in it. That's cool. That stand even is really beautiful. Wow. Checkbooks for children. They teach about money management. We have a faux check. Write that out to mom or dad, five dollars and no cents. From Harrison, December 3rd, 1995. It's pretty cute. FAO Schwartz is like the, brain, uh, the uh, bank branding on the check, which I think is quite cute. I remember learning how to write checks in uh, middle school, I think we took like a financial literacy thing, like everyone in the school had to do it and we had like fake checks we had to write. And I remember they taught us that when you fill out a check, you have to write in cursive. So this would have been 
this was middle school, this would have been in like the late 90s for me. Um, I remember that so distinctly and I hated that you had to write in cursive and I was like dreading doing that in the future. You don't have to write in cursive on a check. Why do they tell us that? That's, that was so weird. Cheap gifts, $25 and under. Hats, make your own hat kit. Millinery. Wow, make your own hat kit with hat box. Everything a mini milliner needs to set up chapeau. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so it looks like we got several kind of straw hat bases and then attachable elements. There's like strings of faux pearls. There's ribbons, there's faux flowers, fabrics. They probably have like netting and stuff. I don't know, but uh, that's kind of fun. I kind of love that. And it comes in a hat box, like a beautiful traditional hat box. I could get into that. Battery operated New York taxi. Because FAO Schwartz is like in New York City, right? That's kind of their whole thing, is that they're uh, a big city toy store, luxury, fun taxi, and like a very classic kind of <laughs> 80s looking New York taxi in bright, bright taxi yellow. Another art kit. They really just pulled out all the stops with these art kits. We get a better view of the art kit. This is actually probably the exact same one that we saw before, maybe. Um, so you can see these pencils more up close. They're very beautiful. A natural wood, and then just the ends are painted, like dipped in the paint color <laughs> of the colored pencil. Uh, it looks expensive, and it is expensive, so that makes sense. Ah, okay. Miss Polly. Miss Polly Pocket. Check that out. It's a whole tiny town of Polly. Polly Pocket Tiny Town Buildings. Polly's new world of miniature realistic environments that actually light up. Oh yeah, they have like embedded uh, battery, places to put batteries. I remember that from Polly Pocket. Sometimes. $100. We're in the $100 and under section. Gets you all of this. That is a lot. That's a lot of Polly. What are the little buildings it looks like there is it's very it's quite hard to see because they're so small not quite sure several many houses at least and then there's vehicles which is great there's like a looks like a kind of a camper like an rv where the top folds off in pink and then maybe the exact same item again sort of closed up over here it has a white kayak on top of it wow that is so fun and they all connect together to make like one continuous street that's a great, so that's a great poly setup. Dream dolls. The dream dolls are here. Wow, that, that certainly has caught my eye right there. Uh, long tail tabby, the perfect dancing partner. How does that tail stick out? Just slide your hands through the bands on tabby's wrists and feet and waltz away. So you like loop yourself into this human child size furry cat boyfriend <laughs> and you can uh, waltz with him isn't that lovely him or her let's keep that open-minded I guess suppose it doesn't necessarily say Amanda's world we have like a, a, a lovely little bedroom set there's a wicker vanity a brass bed there's Amanda and her steamer trunk of outfits this silver tray Five-piece silver-plated dresser set and tray comes with a hand mirror, spooky, a cut glass perfume bottle, um, a comb, a brush, and a picture frame with a spooky black and white picture of Amanda herself. Wow. She keeps a picture of herself on her vanity. <laughs> and then over here, we're doing some you know, fine dolls, maybe a little bit of a competition to an American Girl doll in this scenario here with that uh, <laughs> Mary-Kate and Ashley hat situation, dress to match your doll. Like mother, like daughter, it says. Paulina is the name of this doll. It's a very young, fun, youthful name for 1995. More dolls. We're still all dolled up. We're sleeping in a ballet slipper. What a fantasy come true. We're doing more like 
<laughs> waltzing around with life-size dance companions? Susie Stretch. <laughs> Slip your toes into Susie's feet, wrap her arms around your waist, and play away. So she's made to be, like, wearing pajamas, I guess? I don't know why. She stretches out. Her limbs stretch out, I guess, to be... Maybe I could use her. Her limbs probably adjust to suit your size. Do, do check out that face on her. Over here, this dollhouse, of course, has caught my attention. Deluxe My Pretty Dollhouse. A complete miniature play environment. Each house comes with accessories, two people, and five surprise characters. Like a cat or a horse. <laughs> the two best pets you could possibly have. So, that is an incredible, like, just the front of this house is just, like, got me gooped. That is beautiful. Very McMansion. <laughs> right? Wow. I love these windows. And you get a view of the back. They have they show you both the front and back, which is nice. And we get to see that they're very much like a Polly Pocket type figure, really small, with just kind of like a folding uh, hinge at the waist. There's a car. There's a garage that fits the car in it, which is a convertible, obviously, because this is like <laughs> Beverly Hills or whatever. And the furniture is sort of because it's so small. It comes on like a plastic floor kind of everything is like like a poly pocket everything is kind of stuck to like floor plates and that you just insert that whole thing in the room and everything is pre-arranged for you keeps the little tiny furniture like from getting lost and falling all over the place it's a pretty good idea i think this looks like a lovely gift and it's only 30 dollars ah oh, barbie <laughs> they really loaded us uh Right up front with a whole lot of dolls. Very nice. Very considerate. Thank you, FAO. So, some collector level Barbies. Probably not for children unless you're a certain kind of child who would be okay with getting something they couldn't actually touch. Uh, a Bob Mackie Barbie. Incredible. Goddess of the Sun. This has got my attention. Barbie by Christian Dior. Wow. This fully beaded like metallic gold beaded suit with a really long skirt. She's got her hair is in a very like tasteful kind of conservative updo. That's, I, that one is the one I pick. I like that a lot. More Barbies over here. There's a Barbie boutique. We're speaking in different languages. A multilingual Barbie boutique. Bonjour, hola, hello. <laughs> Looks like there's a little cafe part to it. And a fun, um, like, cafe window with a scalloped awning. So cute. And then our clothing store here with accessories, hats, dresses. There's a clothing rack. There's a cash register. Uh, you know, Barbie's got it all. She always does. And there she is after shopping at FAO. This turtleneck sweatshirt with these leggings. Nice. She looks like she's ready to go uh, mall walking. More Barbie. Barbie on Baywatch. Barbie Winter Action Barbie. Barbie skiing. Ken, ever the trendsetter, <laughs> is snowboarding. And there's also ice skates. Ken has skis. We can, like, you know, we can mix it up and everyone can do everything if they want to. So fun. I absolutely love the way this is staged here with the snow and the mountainscape in the background and these action shots. Like, these are, this is very convincing, I have to say. It also shows you that they have really uh, movable joints, like they're very jointed dolls, which makes sense for them to be an action doll, right? Smart. And Barbie continues. Barbie and FAO Schwartz really had a special relationship, didn't they? Ah, <laughs> Barbie family vacation. This is so good. And what a perfect, like, 1995 kind of, textile scheme we have like a red plaid like a red tartan plaid and white just clean white with and some with polka dots and then denim like a acid wash denim um that's the colors and my god did they find lots of different ways to combine those fabrics to make all these different looks oh so trendy coordinating outfits it even tells you that they're trendy if you couldn't figure it out 
looks like they also come with luggage. Like they're, this is a vacation look. Everyone's traveling in these looks. They have luggage that goes with, and the luggage opens up, and there's like a hair dryer and like a looks like a little bottle of suntan, like um, sunscreen and a brush. And then for the more olden timey approach, a wooden dollhouse, fabulous furnished wooden townhouse, which opens up. Very gorgeous, classic exterior there with wooden, like, topiary potted plants. And there's one right here, like a little orange tree, so nice. We open that up, you get to see a teeny picture of it. It's three floors. And then here's some images of the furniture inside. It is, it is $6,500. That is unbelievable. All seven rooms are completely furnished, meticulously handcrafted in England. That's really amazing. Um, I'm sure it's quite a sight to behold in person. Down here is a weird I Love Lucy Madame Alexander doll set, where we have like Lucy and Ricky and Ethel and Fred, but they're all like children and they're all wearing black and white outfits, but they are their skin is not black and white. They're like wearing, it's like they're in black and white, but they're not, it doesn't really make any sense. Um, but we recognize who they are because of the, uh, iconic, <laughs> iconic styling. Ricky has his little bongo. Fred has his, like, big, huge, tall pants with a tie tucked in. I watched I Love Lucy as a kid on Nick at Night, and I just, it's, like, so weird to me that I <laughs> watched that at such a young age for so long. Stardust Castle Tea Party. This is a dollhouse that comes apart and turns into like a tea set. Teapot holds water. Each tower is a teacup with turret lid. And then up here, more tea party stuff. Miss Spider's Tea Party, Miss Spider's Wedding. She is gorgeous. Miss Spider, love her. Oh, and her veil for the wedding is a spider web. <laughs> I've never seen this book before, or I've never read it. It looks kind of great. Ah, okay. So we're getting a little rustic. See, we have some props here, a little bound together sticks with the leather cord. We are doing more arts and crafts. Again, we're doing like a, a weaving thing. There's a loom to make like a woven basket situation. Down here, Playmobil, Wild Vest, Playmobil kit. How the West was wonderful, <laughs> it says. And then this Pocahontas doll is so pretty. I love this. I love that they like kept her, you know, she has a very stylized face. Well, she, the whole movie is extremely stylized. Pocahontas has a very stylized illustration style, animation style. Um, which is beautiful, and I love that movie. And they, they kept with that for, for this here. You know, she looks like she looks in the movie. Beads so pretty. Brush her long, silky hair and hear magical nature sounds. Like birds chirping, wind blowing, leaves rustling. Special beader and 18 different beads for decorating her hair and dress. Oh, because her dress has um, fringe. You could slide those beads on. Okay. <laughs> science. Science rules. Cool science. Mad scientist right there. His hair looks like my hair. Uh, wow, he's making ice cream. Dr. Dreadful. Ice scream <laughs> machine. <laughs> There's a medical cart. You could be a little doctor down here with a full fleet of medical supplies. There's even like a IV bag thing. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we're getting a little tough here. A little butch. We're doing some Tarzan stuff. Tarzan screaming, looking fantastic. And his little um, loincloth with a spear. Talking Tarzan. It's funny that he talks since he like doesn't, to my knowledge, speak English or any language. He screams and there's a hole in his neck. It's like a stoma thing. I don't know how we got that, but... Who knows what's going on in the jungle. This is crazy. This is some like post-apocalyptic 
playset of like the Statue of Liberty <laughs> that's like falling apart with uh, Mad Max kind of a vibe. It's fantastical is what it is with the burning orange sky. Some Batman and Robin business. Wow. Power play. Power play, virtual reality headset walkie-talkie for hands-free voice-activated communication. What are we seeing on this little red screen? With flexible mic and six transistors for sending important messages. Flexible safety antenna too. What is virtual reality? Is it just like a, basically just kind of like a red clear piece of plastic to kind of make you feel like you're in virtual reality or does it actually show an image? It's thick enough to seem to have like it would have some kind of electric, um, electronic workings inside, but it's only $29. I don't know. We'll never know. He looks very cool in this headset though. We're doing spy stuff. We're doing uh, like a voice recorder and a pen. Agent FAO calling. Cool Mission Impossible look with a black turtleneck. And another walkie-talkie with more slick sunglasses. Hands-free Digitech. This is a Nickelodeon page of Nickelodeon things. Really fun throughout this. You've seen there's been like wonderful graphic design throughout this. Like everything is so... I don't know. Geometric, lively, fun, postmodern, like everything's kind of askew and brightly colored. Perfect for children, but it's also very black and white, everything has been, which makes it a little more tamped down and a little more kind of high end, which FAO Schwartz is high end. So, what do we have here? We have Flome, and do I ever remember Flome? Yes. Wow. It's like, it was like styrofoam, little styrofoam balls that were sort of like stuck together with this sort of putty stuff almost like, yeah, like Silly Putty, I guess, that has like embedded styrofoam balls in it. So you could really like make large things with it because that styrofoam bulked it out. Um, but it was very lightweight and kind of bouncy. I had flown. There's that alarm clock. I feel like this is an extremely iconic Nickelodeon thing. This Nickelodeon alarm clock with the big red like snooze button, like figure it out type snooze button. All these little boys have my hair, which is, I don't know, what that what does that say about me that I, <laughs> that I think I'm so cool or something? We're driving an Aerotech futuristic car. Gas-powered concept car? It goes 20 miles per hour. That's like a car. That's like a real car, and it costs as much as a real car, or, well, a used car. It's uh, like $2,500. That's pretty amazing. There's also some Harley Davidson stuff. There's like some fringe leather Harley Davidson gloves. And we're doing more spy stuff over here and more virtual reality referencing things. This one, it seems to be more of like an actual virtual reality thing. It's on a weird stand. It doesn't seem very mobile. It's like having a personal 80 inch screen with you at all times. So it looks like we can play some different games. It's called Virtual Boy. Musical instruments for children. This little kid really likes his piano. There's some faux kind of electronic laptop type learning tools. These are more uh, baby time items here. Baby time kitchen, baby time grocery store with a this little Fisher Price thing with a fun grocery basket or a grocery cart. We could put your your own baby inside there. Art. More art. The Arts Council, in fact. Magna Doodle. What is this? Mm, there's some, some fashion items. We see letter B, Dolly Maker Boutique. Tell me more. Makes dolls and dresses from molds. Just pour goop into mold. That's like how the fashion industry works nowadays, I, I believe, at Shein anyway. Uh, heat uh, in oven 
unit, and voila, Dolly has unlimited wrap around dress options. So, kind of like uh, Creepy Crawlers. Remember Creepy call Crawlers? Creepy Crawlers. It's like goo, like a rubbery goo plastic stuff that bakes and hardens. So you have these molds that make these little garments. I've never seen this before. What a clever idea. It's very much like the rubber clothes for the sort of second generation Polly Pocket. Um, but you can make your own and you could do the, the colors whatever way you want with the colors that they provide you. Like you can really kind of more specifically customize that. I think that's super fun. And then here, the glitterator. <laughs> <laughs> create the most glitzy jewelry hair accessories even stickers looks like it's basically like a dome it's kind of like an air fryer but it's full of glitter <laughs> you put what you want up there put the top on it and it like blows glitter around and would stick to probably like an adhesive that you would put on there uh on the item that you were glitterating Ooh. Isn't this funky? Crafty, hand-carved, and hand-painted wood squiggles, wiggles, blobs, and globs that assemble and reassemble in endless, free-spirited ways. Reminds me of, like, um, Rocco's Modern Life. It has that surrealism about it, a uh, very high design and sort of like a, I don't know what, 60s, like, space-age shapes. Um, I think that's really quite beautiful actually i'm pretty impressed with this as an idea like fully open-ended just like bizarre creatures ah. <laughs> truffles takes tea more oversized stuffies we're serving tea to truffles although not actually because miss miss ma'am is holding a flat cutout of a teapot and then all the stuff is flat cutouts i don't know why we're calling it tea thing when you don't actually buy the tea set. I don't get that. Maybe they're just capitalizing on the power of the tea party and how desirable that is. And then more teddy bear stuff over here. And more tr it's truffles. It's like another FAO Schwartz like specific uh, character. Oof. Wow. Okay. We're doing magic tricks here. Very appealing. And down here, oh, this is circus tricks. Barbie circus star, Barbie. Looks like this has a carrying case, opens up, and it's made to be like a dressing room for her costume. I know this is on the back of the catalog, so we'll see a better image of this shortly. And circus FAO, fabulous. Super fun, wow, I love these colors. These stripes and these grid patterns with white and these bright colors, so cute. Looks like it's furniture. We have chairs, tables, there's a little stool, there's a rocking horse, this is beautiful. With this orange, like the cut side is orange. This is like super cool. Some Christmas specific stuff. This catalog I think is technically a Christmas catalog. It said holiday on the cover, but Nothing about it was identifying like holiday or Christmas until the very last page. So that's why I'm putting it up in April. But we have Annie Angel, a holiday harbinger of peace. She's flown down to Earth to teach children to save our planet. Okay, with ribbon hair. She's sort of plain white fabric doll. And there's that stupid dog everywhere again. What is his name again? Patrick the Pup. Patrick the Pup ornaments all over the tree. Okay. Give this a fluff. All right. There's Miss Barbie, Circus Star Barbie. Appearing under the big top at FAO, our dazzling new star celebrates the drama and excitement of a circus acrobat in flawless style. From her glamorous costume to her balancing umbrella, this limited edition Barbie performs exclusively at the world's premier three-ring circus of play. She looks like a circus star. She's doing a tightrope walk on a golden tightrope. She's got fishnet tights and some tall black lace-up high heel, of course, boots, and... A multicolored 
kind of performance costume, wonderful cape, trimmed in gold, bright, bright magenta on the inside and black velvet on the outside, feather headdress, an umbrella to help her balance, and her beautiful bright Barbie makeup matches the whole outfit to a T. Um, and I love this like super mega frizzy textured hair. Oh, and take a look at this. Look for us on the internet in 1995. Look for us on the internet at faoschwartz.com. That is really incredible. You never see internet like website references in magazines or catalogs this old. That, they're really forward thinking FAO. Well, there you have it. FAO Schwartz toy catalog from 1995. If you liked this video, give it a like. It really helps me out if you do. And leave me a comment if you like. I really look forward to reading and responding to your comments every week. Did you have any of these toys? Did you want any of these toys? Did you ever have one of these crazy art kits that seemed to be so prevalent at the time? It doesn't have to be an FAO Schwartz one. It could be whatever one you might have had. I would love to hear about it. I will see you all next week with another new video. So until then, take care.